Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a wardrobe additions kind of video um, at the moment. When this goes up, I should be in Australia, which is very exciting. So this month I've kind of steered away from buying too many new winter pieces, primarily because I haven't been able to really wear them at the moment. I've got stuff from last year, but I have picked up a few things. Um, a couple of which will be with me in my suitcase, but I thought I would share with you what I've got. Um, because there's been some really lovely things on the high street at the moment, which I'm very excited about. So yeah, I thought I'd show you and talk you through, so let's go. Okay, so the first item I've got that I want to talk about is this amazing jumper from Pull and Bear. I picked this up on ASOS, um, it's on a hanger, you know, I really care about it because it's not on my bedroom floor. But um, I absolutely love this, I am a really big fan of novelty jumpers and printed jumpers. So this was very, very cool. I love the kind of varsity look it has with the kind of panelling and the stuff on the arms. But I love the fact it's kind of got that classic leopard print as well because I think that's amazing for this kind of 60s, 70s feel. And I also love the fact it's kind of got burgundy and a pale blue so it makes it a really nice kind of wintry, matchy piece that you can throw on with like pale denim or a bit of navy and it just looks amazing. It's really, really soft as well. It's kind of like... I don't know how to describe the texture of this jumper, but it's, yeah, very soft, very flat. It's not like a bobbly, kind of itchy, scratchy wool, um, if it is wool. But anyway, it's really, really lovely. It's just a great kind of trend piece to throw in with some more classic pieces in my wardrobe. So yeah, I really love that. I've also got um, a patent skirt, which would have been up last week in my Alexa kind of MS styling video, which I love pairing this with as well. So yeah, I will pop that down below so you can get some ideas for inspiration as well. The next item I'm going to be talking about are these boots, which I picked up from And Other Stories. Um, these are some of already my most worn boots this winter. Um, I had a pair very similar to this from Zara, which I think I bought about two or three years ago. Um, they are in the sale, they are at £40, so they were a really amazing value. And this year, for some unknown reason to me, they have gone AWOL. I cannot find them anywhere. I seem to wear them all the time, and then they just disappeared, and I couldn't remember the last time I wore them. So. I don't know whether the boot fairies took them, I don't know where they've gone, I'm very sad about it, but I was desperately searching on the high street for a similar pair, um, kind of basically a pair of pointed boots with a slight heel, nothing too tall, and a zip on the side, because I don't really like elasticated boots too much, because I feel they just pinch in my ankles too much, and all, all of that jazz, but um, anyway, I picked these up, they're kind of similar to the, you know, acne kind of inspired boots, they're just really, really comfortable, um, the ankle's quite wide as well, which I like, I don't like anything too glove-like, um, so yeah, these are just really, really good, their leather's really soft, and I found wearing them in really, really easy, especially because I've got quite wide feet, so that's another kind of worry for me sometimes, but yeah, I absolutely love these, I'm really chuffed with them, and other story shoes are amazing, so if you're on the hunt for some nice boots this winter, definitely check them out. So potentially my newest wardrobe purchase has to be this little Topshop dress, which I love. Um, I saw this online and normally I would, I don't know, I don't really need any more like flippy dresses, but I saw this and it really, really reminded me of the kind of realisation dresses that have been going around. Um, I have the blouse, which is by realisation, but they are slightly more expensive. I think they're about $150 to $180, which obviously isn't the most affordable for a kind of silk dress or a silk blouse. So I saw this on Topshop and it's got the frill here, it's got the little cut out back and the bow and the little kind of tie detail on the wrists. Um, and it's just a really, really good replica. Um, it's not that kind of silky fabric, so it's slightly more structured, which I actually quite like, but it's still really flowy and beautiful. I love this because as I'm going away, it's a really, really lovely summer piece with bare legs and sandals. But I also love it because I know it will look great with tights as well, so I just wanted a few more kind of versatile pieces like this, which I know I will have for next summer. And um, this classic as well, I love the kind of star print at the moment, the kind of cosmic kind of style, it's very cool. Um, so yeah, I'm just really happy with this. I think it was about £45, which is definitely more affordable than some of the other options I've seen. And yeah, it's just a really pretty shape and it's got the kind of like peplum at the bottom too, which is very cool. So yeah, love this. <laughs> So the next item I'm going to be talking about is this skirt from Gap. Um, I have been obsessed with A, Gap, and B, kind of pleated skirts this month. Um, I love this one because it's kind of like a more of a pewter kind of silver. It's kind of got a bit more of a goldy undertone, so it's not as bright as some of the other ones I've seen. Although New Look do do an amazing silver one, which I will link below. Um, but I've just been loving Gap so much. They've been killing it on the high street recently, and I never say killing it, because it doesn't sound very cool when I say it. But um, 
They've just got amazing knitwear. Um, I featured one of their striped jumpers, which is kind of quite Gucci esque. They've just got so many cool things. Um, so, this skirt is something I've been obsessed with. I used to kind of think that a silver skirt was a bit scary, it was a bit intimidating, too much of a statement, but I kind of think when you pair it with like navies and blacks and kind of like jewel tones like burgundies and like emerald greens, it looks really, really cool. It's quite subtle in a weird way that makes sense but I think if you've got quite a big like overcoat on top and it just looks amazing with ankle boots it's just a really really fun way of doing, dressing up more basic knits and yeah there are so many amazing options on the high street so I'm just really really chuffed with this and I just love the shape and the length and oh gap so the first jacket I'm going to be talking about is this one from ASOS this is an amazing kind of like faux shirling or shearling jacket and it has these amazing little buttons, this gorgeous little cuff detail. But the thing I love most about it is it has a hood. I am desperate for coats with hoods because I hate going out and feeling freezing or going out in the rain. And I've actually worn this in the rain, which was probably a bit of a silly idea, but it was fine, which is another thing because with anything that's kind of suede or like a faux suede, I really, really worry about how it deals with water. Um, but I went out on Oxford Street and it was peeing it down and this is fine. So yeah, if you're worried about that, this is great. Um, but I absolutely love this. I think the thing with these kind of jackets I worry about is how hard they can be to move in and layer with knits. Um, I had a vintage jacket a couple of years ago, a proper Del Boy jacket, and it was so chunky and thickly lined that I just couldn't move my arms. I was like this the whole time. And I did love it and I do love it, but I just wanted something a little bit easier to throw on and off. Um, which was still warm, but just less of a chore to kind of move in. So this is amazing for that, and it ticks all the right boxes, so I really love this. The last item I'm going to be talking about is this amazing coat from Jigsaw. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with it. There's such a lot of coat. Um, anyway, this is a beautiful kind of rust-toned or like kind of burnt orange coat from Jigsaw. It's really, really beautiful. It's double-breasted, and it's just really, really classic. I've never had anything in this colourway before. I've had kind of burgundies and things like that, but never this. And I saw my friend Lizzie um, from Shop From The Street. She's got an amazing channel, amazing blog, um, wearing very, like, it's like very similar or the same to this. And she just looks awesome in it. She wears it with like white t-shirts and pale denim and ankle boots. And I mean, she looks cool and everything, but I saw this and I just, I just love it. I'm so excited to style this. And it's kind of 70s, but it's also very modern. I love that kind of straightness of it and the kind of scandy feel it has with still being quite playful in its colour so yeah really really excited to wear that so stay tuned to see how I style that so yeah that is that for this video I really hope you enjoyed it um just a few little bits I've picked up recently but there will be a monthly favourites coming out so there'll probably be some more fashion items in there stay tuned for a couple of lookbooks and yeah I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next time bye <laughs>